It's the Tony Tone Show on Muscatine's Vintage Sound, 93.1 FM, on the MPW Digital TV Celebrity Hotline, Beauty School Dropout. It's Frankie Avalon. This man has been acting, performing all over the place for a number of years. You've seen his movies. You've listened to his songs. He's 77 years young, written a cookbook, still on tour And for the very first time, hanging out on this here radio show. Who remembers Operation Bikini? Beach Party. Bikini Beach. Pajama Party. Beach Blanket Bingo. Frankie Avalon. Tony, how are you? Oh, my friend, I'm doing so good. I got to tell you, though, if I'm being totally honest, Frankie, I'm getting a little hungry because I'm looking at this, uh, this cookbook, Frankie Avalon's Italian Family Cookbook, from mom's kitchen to mine and yours, and just the cover alone, buddy, it uh, it all it all looks delightful. Well, you got good taste, Tony. I'll tell you what. <laughs> you know, these are recipes that have been handed down to me, and fortunately, I got my mom to make sure that she had written these down. <laughs> so uh, they're all in that book there, plus some other things that uh, I've created myself. I love to cook. Uh, there's some great pictures of my family uh, and all that stuff. So I'm, I'm glad you mentioned it. Thank you. Well, listen, I uh, growing up in the Chicago suburbs, my my last name is Locansole, so I have uh, I have Italian Sicilian blood running through my veins. And what's funny, Frankie, is that my my grandmother, my dad's father, who we lovingly called Grandma Babe, she she was somehow a hundred percent Irish, but she cooked like she was a hundred percent Italian. I never understood it. Well, that's probably because she learned from uh, another relative, either your grandmother, your great grandmother, whatever. But that happens, you know. Isn't that interesting? So, if we stick with the cooking theme just for a minute, when it comes to like a, a signature dish or your favorite dish to prepare, you probably have at least one, right? You know, my favorite, Tony, and <clears throat> it's not difficult to do at all. Mm-hmm. It's a crab sauce, a red marinara crab sauce made with Dungeness crab or, or uh, crabs from the east, a blue point. And uh, you put them in the sauce, you, you put the olive oil, a little bit of garlic, and some uh, clam juice, and uh, good tomatoes uh, uh, from Italy, or you can get good uh, tomatoes uh, here, and you just cook that for about 45 minutes, and you put that over pasta, the best. That sounds fantastic. I'm on your website, which is, for everybody listening, frankieavalon.com. And I love what this says. Uh, in part, it basically says that you, you feel so so much loyalty and trust from your audience, Frankie. I wonder if you could talk about that for a second. Well, I, I think the, 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 the mere fact that they've stayed so long, I mean, uh, you know, I started uh, this year. I'm celebrating the 60th year since my first hit record, Didi Dinah. Wow. And all through the years, I mean, I'm not playing in front of 10,000, 20,000 people. But uh, I'll tell you what, uh, 2,000, 3,000 people, 4,000, 5,000, <clears> at least they show up and they reminisce with me. And there's, there's, there's such a warm relationship. It's like, uh, it's like we've known each other uh, for all these years. And I, I do exactly what they want. I mean, I sing the songs that they want to reminisce with. We talk about the films. I show clips of my family. So it's like a, a gathering of friends uh, for a lot of years. It's so great to hear. I, I love that you have that appreciation because, you know, while I've worked in the radio business for just 10 years, I, I can understand uh, the need for fans to continue to support you. And then at the same time, you, Frankie, being willing to stay, you know, doing shows and writing books and being a, a tangible person you know, you could very well just decide one day, like, I think I'm just going to hang out at home and take it easy. But uh, I, I think that that's very commendable that you're you're still doing a lot of great work. And I and I imagine I you know what the answer is to that, Tony. Sure, you gotta like people, right? And I do. I don't shun people. I like people. I listen to people, and uh, that's been my 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 upbringing. I mean. Uh, my family has been very important to me, and I hope I, that I transcend that to, to my kids, too. But, and I think I do, because I, I get so many people that come to me and say, geez, I met your son, I met your daughter, I met your grandson, I met your granddaughter. You know, and, and, and wonderfully comment uh, how nice they are. So that's, that's a very important trait to have for anybody. Absolutely. 
Um, you have been able to do so much from singing, of course, and film work and, and writing a great looking cookbook that I need to pick up. Ha- is there anything left, Frankie, that you've wanted to try or to do that for whatever reason, being busy and having a family that you haven't been able to? Is there something left? You no, know, I think, Tony, uh, you know, I get involved in different things. Like we talked about the cookbook I've got. I'm on QVC, uh, and I present products there from desserts to different kinds of foods. Uh, I've got an herbal product, uh, which I've been taking for years and years. So I keep expanding, I mean, expounding on those things to improve different things, come up with different ideas, different kinds of foods, different kinds of things that I do herbally. Uh, so I, I just keep extending it. Well, I, I hope that you know that you uh, you have so many fans, specifically in the great state of Iowa, that are excited to hear you on the radio. Um, I, I'm just looking at all the fun movies. I mean, when now certainly it, it was a job making all the fun movies uh, with Annette or whomever, but when you look back on it, um, can you appreciate the, the 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 things you were able to do? Because I imagine I've never worked on a movie, Frankie, but it, it seems like you, you do all the things. You, re- you remember the lines, you know the songs. It comes out, you promote it, you go on to the next thing. But as you reflect, uh, thoughts on all the the fun times you had on the big screen? Well, yeah, you know, um, in, in making motion pictures, when you talk about that uh, aspect of the beach party pictures, we did seven of them. Mm-hmm. And they were probably the most fun. You know, movie making is very difficult. It's very tedious. You know, you work 12, 14 hours a day. You know, you're up early in the morning. You're home late at night. You've got lines to learn. You go in. Uh, uh, it's tedious as far as uh, uh, technically being an actor and doing certain things and, and, and working alongside of another a- actor. Uh, but those were the fun things. Of course, the other things that you do in movie making uh, are difficult. Uh, the locations, uh, uh, you're in the middle of nowhere. I did the Alamo with John Wayne. I was in the middle of Brackettville, Texas at the time uh, uh, where there was nothing around, you know, and you're there for four months. Uh, you know, it has its ups and downs, but, you know, the final result, you go to the theater and you look at it and you say, wow, it came off pretty good. <laughs> Uh, the last thing I want to talk about in the film business, uh, when you're on the set of that little movie called Grease and Beauty School Dropout and that comes out and Grease sort of explodes. But at the time when, you, when you're filming that role, did you get a sense that Grease would not only be successful, Frankie, that, but that it would also just it would, it would hold up over the years? People love it. I know. It amazes me. Tony, because of the fact that, you know, we had no idea. When I was offered the part, I I refused it because I had seen the Broadway play. And on Broadway, the the character of Teen Angel was an extension of Elvis, which was the long sideburns, uh, uh, kind of gyrations, and and, uh, 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 black leather jacket. And when Paramount sent me the script and I refused it, they said, you can't, you've got to at least talk with us. And finally, when I went in to talk with them, uh, and I said, what I just told you, and they said, we'll change it. Well, you'll be all in white, or this, that, whatever. And finally, well, we made the, the uh, changes, and I did it with my style, and, you know, walked away from it after uh, six days and, and two days of shooting. And all of a sudden, it's lasted for 40 years. You know? wow. <laughs> Different generations. You, you just don't know. You go and you do it the best you can. And all of a sudden, people take to it, and you've got the, a cult picture. It's unbelievable. Frankie Avalon, the website, frankieavalon.com, for tour dates and more information. The book, Frankie Avalon's Italian Family Cookbook, available at places like Amazon or bookstores. Sir, I just want to say thank you so much for the time. Have fun uh, with the upcoming shows you have in February, and uh, we would love to have you doing a show in the great state of Iowa, so maybe uh, I'll reach out to you. Thank you. Hopefully I'll get around this year. That would be great. Frankie Avalon, have a terrific day. Thank you. Bye Bye now.